I wanted to show you how you can work with business objects that you created in Visual Builder from outside Visual Builder using the REST endpoints they provide. So we have here a business object called Departments. And um, if you click here, you can see the endpoints that allow you to call it. Now, an important thing that you also get here is the resource API and the URL to access them, for example, in the development staging and live versions of your application. Uh, you can access the metadata about the REST services, and you can also access the data itself. So let's copy this URL, for example. Okay. And then we're going to use Postman, which is a nice tool for testing REST services to access this. So we're going to paste the URL. You can see it's ending with data and the name of the object. You click Send, and uh, you get that you're not authorized to access the data. So to get the authorization, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your application settings. Okay? And then under Business Objects, you again can see the API here, what you're interested in is the access token. So you're going to click the get access token. This is a better type of access token. So you click get, you copy this, okay? And then you're going to go back into Postman and in authorization, you're going to use a better token and you're going to paste this over here, okay? So now if we go back um, and click send, this time, we're getting information about our departments, um, for example, the ID, the name, the max salary, stuff like that, relationships as well, we can access from here. By the way, uh, at the end of this, uh, you can also see how many records you already have in the uh, object already, okay? So that was a simple get operation. Now let's try and create a new department. So to create a new department, if we go back into Visual Builder and into Department and the Endpoints here, we need the post operation on Department, okay? Um, so if you just try and switch this to post, okay, um, that won't be enough. You need to provide two other pieces of information. Okay, first one is in the headers, you need to provide a content type. How do I know this? I actually went to the documentation. So if you go to Visual Builder under Books, there's a whole book dedicated to accessing your business object with the REST API. And if you click on it and you look at some of the tasks that you need to do here, okay, if you want, for example, to create a business object, you need to invoke the post operation and you need to provide a content type with this value. So let's copy this value. Okay. Go back into Postman, and we're going to provide a content type here, okay, and just paste this value. Now, of course, the other thing you need to provide is what value do you actually want to post, or what values do you want to insert? So one nice way to do it is just copy the values from an existing um, get operation, and then in the body here, we can create a row place where we're going to provide our values. Um, so you want to add squarely brackets here, and at the end, make sure you don't have an extra comma at the end. Um, you don't need to provide this information, but we do want to provide an ID. So let's say department 22, uh, we give it a name. Uh, for example, IT solutions, and the max salary, we can set it to 4,000, for example. Okay, And then we can click to send. Okay, and it was successful. We get 201 created, and we actually can see the results of what was created for us. So one thing you noticed is that the ID that I provided here was actually ignored. We assigned the ID automatically for you. So this is done by VBCS for you, the ID management. It also recognizes which user was used and the creation date and everything else. Uh, if you go back into Visual Builder now, okay, and you look at the data, Okay, you can see our IT solution department over here, which was created just now. Okay, now we want to do an update, for example. So to do an update, again, you can go to the documentation and look at how do I update a business object. And you can see that you need to specify the department ID up here. So if we want to update department 7 in Postman, we're going to go over to the end here and say 7 at the end. Okay. And then we can update what we want. So, for example, 
the ID is going to still be 7. Um, let's remove the S here and raise the salary, 5,000. And then instead of post, we're going to use a patch. Okay? We still have the header okay, with the content type and the authorization. And now when we click send, okay, we get 200 OK. We see the updated result. And again, if we go into VBCS and refresh the data, no S and 5,000. And of course, if we want to delete a department, we can choose the delete operation. We provide the department number at the end, seven. I don't think you need any value in here. And then if you click send, okay, no content. And if we go over here and refresh, department seven is gone now. So these are some of the basics of working with the REST endpoints for your business object from outside VB. This allows you, for example, to insert records from remote locations, update records, do things like that, or access the data from other locations. Uh, one more thing that I mentioned here is in the documentation, you'll find uh, that there's a lot of things you can do um, in accessing the objects. Okay? For example, you can return the estimated count of records. Okay? Uh, there's a lot of variants that you can provide to the get operations to, for example, return just specific fields or a certain number of records. Um, there's also ability to work in batch requests. If you want to update a lot of records, you don't need to do them one by one. You can actually send a lot of updates in one go in one REST request. So this book is definitely worth a read on your side. And that's the basics of working with the REST endpoints for business objects.